Chapter 7, Lesson 2, Supplementary and Complementary Angles. So again, this chapter focuses on the essential question of how does geometry help us describe real-world objects? More specifically, today we're going to learn about um, identifying complementary and supplementary pairs of angles, and then how do we use those relationships, so knowing what's complementary and what's supplementary, to find that missing measure. So again, we're really focusing on those pre-algebra skills that we learned early on in the year and applying it to what we're learning now in the geometry unit. Complementary and supplementary angles. Um, so basically, complementary angles are going to add up to 90 degrees where supplementary angles are going to add up to 180 degrees, okay? Um, I'm going to kind of jump around here a little bit um, and say that the measure of angle 1, so when we talk about degrees, there's a specific symbol that we have to use. And so that's the measure of angle 1 or the measure of angle A or however they describe it. So that M in front of it tells me that it's the measure, so exactly how large it is or small it is or how many degrees it is. So back to that complementary and supplementary component. Now what I always do to keep um, to help me remember which one's adding up to 90 and which one's adding up to 180 is I think about it in alphabetical order. So complementary C is earlier on in the alphabet than S. And so that's how I know that the C means 90 degrees because it's the smaller one. It happens earlier in the alphabet. And supplementary is the S which is 180 degrees. Now typically we're talking about pairs, meaning only one, um, meaning two angles added together to make them complementary or make them supplementary. But you could include three and four different angles added together to get that supplementary angle or complementary. So what it means is that they're added together to be 90 degrees if it's complementary, or 180 if it's supplementary. So now it says, identify each pair of angles as complementary, supplementary, or neither. So here I see angle one and angle two. Now I see that when they are combined together, they make a straight line. And I know a straight angle is 180 degrees. So I've got to remember which one is 180 degrees. Now, complementary, remember that C is earlier on in the alphabet, so that's 90 degrees, whereas supplementary is later on, which is 180 degrees. So in this case, this one is going to be, and as I'm telling you guys this, I'm writing the wrong thing, is going to be supplementary. Same thing again on this one. Identify each pair of angles as complementary, supplementary, or neither. Now I see I have 60 degrees on this angle, 30 degrees on that one. So if I'm doing 60 degrees plus 30 degrees, that gives me 90 degrees total. And I know 90 degrees um, is a complementary angle. Here's where those algebra skills come in. So it says find the value of x. Now I see this right angle here, which is a huge clue. That means that when I combine them together, it's going to be 90 degrees. So 28 degrees plus 2x gives me 90. Now this is a complementary angle. So to solve this, remember I subtract 28 from both sides. That gives me a zero pair, so I get 2x equals, and I've got to do a little bit of borrowing here, and I get 62. So now I need to divide both sides by 2 to get x by itself, and I get x equals 31. So the value of x in this case is going to be 31. Now here it says the angles shown are supplementary. Find the value of x. So just like what we did before, I want you to pause the podcast, see if you can determine what x is, and then come back and check your answer. 
So again, supplementary is going to mean that it's going to equal 180 degrees. So 180 degrees is my 123 plus 3x. So I'm going to subtract 123 from both sides. Remember, I've got to keep my equations balanced right along that equal sign. So now if I do some borrowing, I get 57 degrees or 57, I'm sorry, equals 3x. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 3 to get x by itself. So I'm doing my 57 divided by 3. I end up with 19. So 19 equals x, and that's what I've just solved. So make sure if you got it wrong that you're checking your answer to um, with my process to make sure that you know exactly what you did wrong. If you can't figure it out, make sure that you're asking in class. All right, last problem for us to do. It says the picture shows a support brace for a gate. Find the value of x. So this support gate creates this big x across the gate. And I want to know what is the value of x. Well, what I can see in here is that when I look at this right here, these two angles together combine to make 180 degrees. They are um, supplementary angles. So if I have 180 degrees, I know that I'm combining my 80 degree angle right over here with my 10x. So now to solve this, I have minus 80, minus 80. So I get 100 equals 10x. Divide both sides by 10, and I get 10 equals x. Now make sure that you are trying these problems as we go um, all of the time, and make sure that you're really thinking about what you're hearing, what you're learning, and all of those pieces, because your final project is going to also include angles, it's going to include those scale factors, so you've got to be ready for that. Um, if you've got questions, make sure you see me and have a good rest of your day.